Hey, what's up everyone? I recorded this video on Friday, March 4th, 2022. It's 5 o'clock p.m. and it's 76 Fahrenheit, 24 Celsius in Miami Beach, Florida. More specifically, we're going to be walking the south of 5th neighborhood today. It's also known as Sophie. It's an affluent neighborhood in Miami Beach at the very southern tip of Miami Beach. We're on the uh, South Point Park Pier right here. South Point Park is a 17-acre uh, park that we're going to be uh, seeing. But here's the Atlantic Ocean. Let's zoom in to uh, some of the people here at the beach. Looks like people are having fun in general. But just north of here is uh, South Beach proper, which is really considered the tourist section of Miami Beach. Many people, when they think of Miami, they think that uh, Miami and Miami Beach are the same, but they're not. Miami and Miami Beach are both separate cities. In fact, you could even see uh, Miami. That's the neighborhood of uh, downtown in Miami. You can see the uh, cruise ship terminal, the port of Miami. And uh, over here is uh, Fisher Island. This area here, Fisher Island, I think is the most expensive zip code in the United States. I know many celebrities have their homes there. You'll see the uh, cruise ships come by when, they, uh, when it's time to set sail, as well as many other boats. <laughs> But uh, south of 5th gets its name because it's south of 5th Street. If you were to uh, go from here to um, Miami proper and if you drive, it should take about 15 20 minutes but this area over here this roadway gets notoriously jammed with traffic so right now Google Maps is telling me that's gonna take uh, 41 minutes to get to downtown from here so just uh, plan accordingly if you're staying in Miami and you're traveling to Miami Beach so now to take a look at the beach here at South Point Park. I've heard today there was like a high wind advisory. So it doesn't really stop these people from coming out to the, uh, the ocean here. You can see here it says uh, small craft advisory.
right now we're in the middle of March so it's in the uh, middle of the spring break season spring break is when many of the college students have their recess so they'll come to Miami and have a good time but really it's more towards the uh, the touristy part of South Beach north of 5th Street over here this is really uh, more for the locals and for the adventurers who wish to take the time out to come here looks like the river here is actually has pretty high currents anyway this uh, South Point Park it continues on for a good amount of time towards that way but I'm gonna head north towards the uh, the tourist part of South Beach this uh, pathway here I saw that they don't allow any electric vehicles on this stretch so no e-scooters no e-bikes no scooters I find that these city bikes are quite popular I think this high-rise building must command a lot of money for one of these units here especially right on the tip of uh, Miami Beach here it may be possible to rent a city bike and then ride it uh, to downtown Miami I don't know how that would work but I've seen uh, city bike stations in downtown as well I think the rental fee starts at like three bucks or something oh no it starts at five dollars wow so that's more expensive than I thought. You see motorized electric assist is not allowed to be ridden on any sidewalk in Miami Beach or Miami. I wonder if it's possible to um, to disable the motor if you have an electric vehicle and just use pedal power. That may be a way to get around that restriction something I, I'm gonna have to look into because I'm interested in getting a electric bike while I'm here They're probably really strict on enforcing the uh, electric vehicle ban as well.
the units here in Miami Beach are generally more expensive than uh, those in downtown Miami and also the Brickell area just because the uh, beach here commands a higher real estate premium. What's also very cool about Miami Beach is these custom uh, lifeguard stations. This one's all purple and it kind of looks like it's in a star shape. these waves really feel kind of rough. I don't really see too many people in the water right now. I think I hear a party going on, probably somewhere behind these hedges. Actually, it's beyond these trees here. Yep, there's a party going on right here. Let's see what's going on. Looks like they have a lot of cabanas. And there's a, a good amount of people here. I wonder if this is open to the public or not. These people are trying to uh, just walk right in. This is called uh, Nikki Beach on that umbrella. Looks quite fun. I guess this is where all the people are hanging out. Looks like there's a bar back there. Pretty cool. So if you want to relax and have some wine or some drinks, you come here. I think I'll walk a little bit further along this sidewalk here and then I'll head over to Ocean Drive which is the, um, the street that parallels the sidewalk. Pretty much to the, uh, to the top of South Beach. It's actually a good spot to take some photos.
This section of Miami Beach is uh, drastically different than the neighborhood right above it. It can get quite wild in the tourist area of Miami Beach with all the restaurants and the uh, Art Deco hotels and stays. I was wondering about that. All right, we'll talk about that. Right, I think I'll exit this way. Let's go towards Ocean Drive. And I'll show you all the uh, all the colorful structures all along Ocean Drive. There's a nice little park full of palm trees. The city of Miami Beach is redoing this playground. It looks like uh, it's freshly been torn down. I don't know when it's going to be completed. Hopefully soon. I think there's a, a notice here. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Playground. Thursday, March 3rd, 2022 through Friday, May 27th. Oh, so yeah, they just tore this up yesterday. That's why it looks like this. Feel bad for the kids who can't use that playground. I'm, I don't really understand everything they're saying, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with that playground being torn up and the children cannot use it. So yeah, I really feel bad. Here's some new construction going up. I do know that 
properties are in high demand around Miami and Miami Beach. There's a lack of inventory and it's driving the prices a lot higher. There's a condo building, East Atlantic Gardens, it says. Here's a reminder of why not to park your vehicle under a tree here because that is what happens. So we're only one block away from 5th Street and the border of the Sophie neighborhood. This is where the tourist area starts. Ocean 5 Hotel. Wonder how much it costs a night to stay over there. This gelato store is quite popular. All the tables are filled up outside. Gelato go. And here is 5th Street, the start of the tourist section of South Beach. And you can see that uh, there is now a bike lane over here where there was uh, not one previously over here. Anyway, Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Sophie neighborhood south of 5th in Miami Beach, Florida. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye everyone. Take care.